Ranking videos in YouTube search is extremely important because it gives you more exposure and more views on your video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I've ranked videos in YouTube search and gotten hundreds of thousands of views. So be sure to stick around until the end. What's going on? My name is Devin Street, helping you build your online presence, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can rank your videos in search with some simple SEO tips. But if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button. There's a new video every single Sunday showing you how to grow on YouTube. So SEO. If you don't know what that stands for, it stands for search engine optimization. And this is a simple thing with all online marketing, but especially YouTube, in making sure your videos are optimized to rank higher in search. I've done this with phenomenal results before on my videos to where I had less than a thousand subscribers but was still able to rank a video at top, it would get hundreds of thousands of views and with that came subscribers. So if you can rank your videos, you are going to get more subscribers, get more views and your channel is going to grow all around. So I put together some simple steps to ranking your videos in search. Step number one is to research your video topic and know exactly what you want to target. This is extremely important for the first step of ranking because if you're going to rank, you need to know what you want to rank for. That example of the video I had that I talked about earlier is actually a video about how to remove a watermark in the KineMaster video editing app. I knew exactly what I wanted to research is things around the KineMaster app and things around removing watermarks. There's plenty of ways to research these things, but my top two suggestions is first to go into YouTube search and start searching up exactly what people would be looking for. So in my example, I would type in KineMaster and watermark and then look at the suggestions to see what's coming up and maybe pick a few of those for exactly what I want to target for. A second method to this research is actually just going to videos that are already successful and looking at what tags they're using. If they are already ranking in search with the suggested video, then it's probably a good idea to look at what tags they're using to rank in that search. Step number two, you want to create a keyword phrase from that research of exactly what you want to target for. For example, after my research, I created the keyword phrase I wanted to target for, and that was how to remove a watermark in KineMaster. And that is exactly what my phrase was that I would target for, and I'm gonna show you what you do with that phrase now. Step number three is to execute on that phrase. And how we execute is we start putting this stuff into where we need to put our SEO. And these uh, areas that we're gonna put our SEO in is our title, our descriptions, our tags, our closed captions, and all that. So first with your title, you're most likely going to want to take that keyword phrase and go ahead and drop that in and make that your title. Secondly, you're going to want to copy and paste that title and go ahead and make it the first thing that shows up in your description. If you search any video of mine, you'll see that the title and the description have the exact same thing on them as the first thing. And that's because I definitely want to make sure the SEO is matching there. Plus, YouTube considers the things at the top of the description more important than the stuff at the bottom of the description so it's very important that you put it as that first thing in your description next up probably the most important thing is to go ahead and take that keyword phrase and stick it into your tags and make sure it's your first ever tag because just like descriptions YouTube tags are seen more important if they're at the top than they are at the bottom Next up, we'll want to take all the keyword research that we did and try to blend that into your description some way. So for example, when I was doing my research for KineMaster and Watermark, I found how to get rid of a watermark, how to remove a watermark, and things like that. So I tried to blend those kind of words into my description in some way, shape, or form. I also made sure to go ahead and drop those kind of things into my tags too. So in my tags, not only do I have how to remove a watermark, in KineMaster, but I also have how to get rid of a watermark in KineMaster. Another thing in my tags is I've moved some words around so it makes the sentences different and includes as a new tag. So for example, I have how to remove a watermark in KineMaster, and then I have how to remove the KineMaster watermark. They're very similar sentences, 
but words are changed so it makes it a new different tag and a new different search form that's going to come up if you search for that in YouTube search. Next up, closed captions. Closed captions are the subtitles that come up with what words you're talking about. So for example, if I'm saying whatever I'm saying right now, it's most likely going to come up right below me if I turn captions on. And this is actually taken into part when considering the SEO. Now YouTube usually automatically does these captions for you when you talk into a video and it picks up your voice, but sometimes what you have to do is actually type these out yourself. It's even recommended to translate this into different languages so you'll be able to reach wider audiences. But going back to that keyword phrase we've been talking about that you want to target, you're going to want to say that at the very beginning of your video. Because if you say it at the very beginning, then it's going to come up at the very beginning of the subtitles, which is going to go directly into SEO. And the YouTube algorithm is going to see that all these things are matching the title, the description, the tags, and the closed captions that's going to give you a very high relevancy score. And what YouTube does is they sort by relevancy. If you go to YouTube search right now, type in something, it will say sorted by relevancy. This means creating relevant SEO in your title descriptions, tags, and captions is most likely going to get you in the search a lot higher. But to stay in search, you have to get people to click on your video. You see, YouTube search is not just sorted by relevancy. That's the first thing it's sorted by, but it's also sorted by watch time and views. So the YouTube algorithm actually helps out small creators. And if you have a high relevancy score, they'll stick you at the top of searches for almost a week as a new video. And if you can get people to click on that video at that time and watch through it for a long time, gain watch time, gain views, and slowly start to build up the amount of watch time on your video, then YouTube is going to keep that ranked high in search. So it's best you have a nice clickable thumbnail to be able to click on, a nice title that's going to match exactly what the person's looking for, and also a very engaging video that keeps them watching for a very long time. Plus there's even additional things like getting people to watch more of your videos after they've watched the video they found in search, and other things that have to do with that like getting someone to subscribe from watching that video that is going to guarantee that you're going to rank higher. To help play into this, I created an entire series around video editing in KineMaster that helped people to find more videos to click on after they were done with that one. And currently, this video is standing at 150,000 views and gaining about 3,000 views every single day. So I think ranking at the top of searches has definitely helped my channel to be able to grow. Before I released this video, I had less than 1,000 subscribers, and now as I approach 2,000 subscribers just a few months after the video released, I gotta say, ranking in search is definitely gonna help you grow on YouTube. But if you wanna grow on YouTube and rank your videos in search, then make sure you go ahead and click the subscribe button, and then support us on Patreon if you're not already. I wanna thank you for watching until the very end of this video, and I will see you in the next video.